Now in this question we're asked to differentiate with respect to x, x cubed times the natural log of 5x plus 2. So first of all I'm just going to say let y equal this expression here and so I can write down dy dx, okay, what it equals. Well, in order to differentiate this, what I've got is the product of two functions of x. I've got x cubed as one of them and the natural log of 5x plus 2 as the other one. So I've got to use the product rule for differentiation. And the product rule for differentiation is that if you've got y equals two parts, two functions of x being multiplied together, dy dx equals u times dv by dx plus v times du dx. Okay, so I'm going to use that first of all. So I'm going to let the x cubed be the u and v be the natural log of 5x plus 2. So when I differentiate this, we've got u first of all, so that's going to be x cubed. I'll put that in brackets multiplied now by the differential of the natural log of 5x plus 2. Now this is the next problem maybe differentiating the natural log of 5x plus 2. This is almost a question in its own right. If you were given y equals the natural log of say 5x plus 2 you'd need to differentiate this by the chain rule. By that I mean that the chain rule is that dy by dx is equal to dy by some other variable, let's say dt, times dt by dx. So if I was to say that y equals the natural log of t, where t is equal to 5x plus 2, then dy by dt, if we take y equals the natural log of t, dy dt should be equal to 1 over t. So that would be 1 over t. And we now know that t is 5x plus 2, so this is going to be the same as 1 over 5x plus 2. And for dt by dx, we've got t equals 5x plus 2 dt by dx would be equal to just simply 5. So putting these ideas together, okay, for this, okay, when we differentiate the natural log of 5x plus 2, what we're going to have is 1 over 5x plus 2, so I'll put that in there, 1 over 5x plus 2, you should really be able to do this in your head actually. As I say, I've just done all the working down here, but you know, if you called this part t, we've got the differential of the natural log of t, which is 1 over t, and we multiply it by the differential of t with respect to x, so that is 5. But as I say, all the workings down here anyway, should you need it. Then by the product rule, we've got plus and then it is v. v was the natural log of 5x plus 2, so I'll we'll put the natural log of 5x plus 2. And all of this is being multiplied by the differential of u, which would be 3x squared. So I should be able to just squeeze it in there, 3x squared. Okay? So all I need to do now is just tidy each of the terms up. So if we start with the first term, we've got 5 times the x cubed, so that's 5x cubed, all over 5x plus 2, and then plus, and I put these square brackets around the natural log because I didn't want this to look like the natural log of 5x plus 2 times the 3x squared. The 3x squared can go at the front, so that becomes 3x squared without the brackets now, just times the natural log of 5x plus 2. And there you have it, okay? dy dx. 
And that brings us now to the end of this part of the question. <laughs>